This weekend marks 10 years since the deadliest school shooting in the nation's history. 32 innocent people were killed when a heavily armed classmate chained the doors to an academic building and opened fire and dozens of others were wounded. One of the victims was Smithfield's Nicole White. She was a 20 year old sophomore majoring in international studies. 10 on your side's Jason Mark spoke with White's parents about that tragic day 10 years ago. Jason. Yeah, yeah guys, for Trisha and Mike White, the pain of losing Nicole obviously will never go away. It will always be there. For them, though, the 10 year mark is just a number because every day they remember all the lives lost, including the one of a redhead who lived life of the fullest. Field. This is about uh, from about an hour to an hour and a half ago. This is the cards that we've been dealt. There's nothing we can do about it, and so we just try to keep moving on. 32 families were dealt that hand 10 years ago, the worst school shooting in American history. It was devastating. It was devastating. It's definitely, it's a life-changing event. The life-changing event happening just before 10 a.m. at Virginia Tech's Norris Hall. 20-year-old Nicole White was in German class. Her parents were at work. At that point, I still didn't put two and two together that she was in the building, um, that she was even in the German class, was even in that building. Gunfire echoed through the halls and into the classrooms. A fellow student, heavily armed, opened fire on his classmates. We all just got on the ground really quick and he just continued to shoot. News of the mass shooting quickly spread. The hours went on, I couldn't get a hold of her, couldn't find a roommate, couldn't get anybody on the phone. At that point, the Whites decided to head to Blacksburg. Seconds turned to minutes, which turned to hours. Still no word from Nicole. I just remember President Bush being there um, uh, the next day, and there was some ceremony, and I was sitting in a room in, in one of the, co the conference rooms or hotel room there, waiting to find out where she was. She was the last one that they identified. One person, one person in your life changes everything, everything that you were hoping for. She was a bright, cheerful, loving, caring, kind, passionate, um, vivacious redhead. Every day we think of her. Back home in Smithfield, there are reminders of the tragedy everywhere you look. She was a great person. Nicole White made the most of her young life. She was a volunteer EMT for the Smithfield Rescue Squad, pitched in at the local animal shelter and battered women's shelters. She worked here poolside at the YMCA. She was the first lifeguard that was hired, so she was kind of a celebrity among all the staff. Everybody knew her. Even in death, Nicole is still giving back. The YMCA set up a yearly scholarship in her name, going to a Smithfield High School senior who's making a difference in the community. She'll always live on. Her memory will always live on. It's been 10 years since Mike and Trisha White have been back to Blacksburg. They're still not ready. Eventually, maybe one day, we will be able to go back. The decade-old pain will never go away. It's hard to go to... Uh her friend's weddings mm -hmm. and, you know, the, the possibilities of what had been. I'm, I would have loved to have walked her down the aisle and, and gave her away in marriage. I'd love to, for my wife to be planning a, a baby shower for her and we always look forward to the grandchildren mm -hmm. that we would have. So certainly that is something that we've thought about many times. Dwight's focus is now on living living the same way Nicole did while she was here. You should hug your child every day. You should tell them that you love them. You should, you should cherish every second that you get with them because you never know what tomorrow brings. This Sunday, the Whites will be in the Outer Banks. Every April 10th, they're there to toss a bottle full of memory letters from friends and family in the Atlantic Ocean. Twice they've been contacted by strangers who called them, letting them know that they found the bottle. For more information on the Nicole White Scholarship, go to wavy.com. Jason Marks, 10 on your side. And you can hear more of Jason's interview with Nicole White's family on wavy.com. You'll find a special Virginia Tech Remembrance page with all of our stories on this 10th anniversary.